all right everyone so welcome to lesson eight how to rebut the online course debate for secondary schools uh powered by higher educators and with a partnership uh with the quality Trunganu, uh, district education department okay let's get straight into it uh so in this is the final lesson how to rebut this is the most important thing so i saved the best for the last for sure so i hope you get most in this lesson uh, because it's the most important thing in debate on how to rebut people and how rebut is basically how do you respond okay uh so so there are four elements we'll be looking at uh how what is rebuttal uh what is in the rebuttal rebuttal strategies and some references okay uh this is the most important thing here in debate rebuttal strategies okay so you might have missed lesson one to seven but this element right here you should not miss okay let's get straight to it okay what is rebuttal uh, rebuttal is a response to the opposing arguments. Okay, that's what a rebuttal is. That is what a rebut is. You're basically responding to the arguments, okay, to an opposing argument. It has to be logical, well expressed, and the most important thing in debate, it has to be some kind of passion behind it, okay, passionate attack. Uh, in debate, everything is filled with passion because that is where your style comes in, okay, and if you have your content and a good style, that gives you strong passion, okay. Alright, so what is in the uh, what is in the rebuttal? Okay, so you need to state the opposing argument. What has been said? Okay, you need to repeat that so that the audience knows what is going on. Explain why it is incorrect. Why do you think it is misleading? Uh, incorrect is a bit of a hard word. La. Misleading will be a better word. And then link it back to your arguments. Okay, alright. So let's look at some rebuttal strategies. Uh, so there are seven here. Which I've looked in, uh, which I've, uh, uh, which I've uh, actually uh, highlighted. So the first one is problem solution mismatch. Okay, and then we have wrong in principle. We have generalization causes more harm than good. Not their role, not practical, and a contradiction. A contradiction percanggahan. So you have these seven strategies that you can use. So many times students they are not sure how to rebut. They're like. Okay, you need to rebut. Your, your teacher's learning to you. Okay, you need to counter the argument. But how do you do that? You're not sure. You do not have the ability to counter those arguments. So here, I'm giving you seven strategies that you can rebut better. Okay? So let's look at the first one. Okay? Uh, problem, solution, mismatch. Okay, so you can agree that there's a problem. But that this solution doesn't solve the problem. Or cause the problem. Uh, or the cause of the problem is different than, than what has been identified. So, the solution doesn't cause the problem. So, there's the problem and the solution. There's a mismatch between the problem and the solution. So, let's look at an argument here. Korean education is over-competitive and doesn't uh, develop creative thinking skills. Co-ed schools help ensure more interaction between different genders and can solve this problem. Okay, so look at this. The problem here is competitiveness and lack of creative thinking. But the interaction between genders does not solve this problem. At least not as explained in this argument. Okay, so this is one example where the problem and the solution, there is a mismatch. It is not related. So that you can, uh, that is not a, that is one strategy that you can, re that, that is one way you can uh, rebut. Okay, you can say to them, look, the problem is stated and the solution you're giving complete mismatch okay right next one wrong print wrong in principle the argument contradicts a basic principle that society acknowledges is right for example saving lives you will need to explain why upholding that principle is more important than whatever gain the argument achieves so let's say this is the argument keeping a murderer in prison for life will cost many millions of dollars sentencing uh, sentencing murderers to death saves the state money state as in your as in the as in the nation as in the country which can be used which then which can then be used to help society so now this is basically wrong in principle because the state or the country must always preserve life and life is always more important than money. Even if that money can be used to help other people, the state cannot justify killing one person to help others. Okay, so the state cannot say that, oh, if we kill this murderer, it can help others. You, you can, the state does not have that, uh, it does not have that right to do that because then uh, many of us, I mean, we are, we are not murderers, right? But my point is, the state does not have the right to take away a life. Uh, so, that is basically a wrong in principle, okay? We can't do that. Okay, now let's look at the next one, generalization. 
This means your opponents are assuming every situation is the same because of one example or one small sample. Uh, to be more effective, you should try to show why the situation is different. For example, the U.S.-Mexico trade agreement leads to exploitation of Mexico. Therefore, the Korean-U.S. Uh, the Korean-U.S. trade agreement will lead the same. Now, just because U.S. and Mexico have exploitation, okay, does not mean the same can happen with the Korean-U.S. trade agreement. So this is a generalization. Okay, All right. Korea is in a different position from Mexico and can learn from their mistakes. Korea already has a positive trade balance with the U.S. So again, if say your this argument is being said, what you do, you can always rebut and say, look, this is a generalization. It doesn't mean is that this is one example of one small sample. It might be very different in different situations. So you ha you cannot look at every uh, situation and you cannot generalize every situation. Okay. Next one, causes more harm than good. You can argue that when the argument is trying to achieve does not happen or instead it becomes worse under the contentions uh, contentions put forth by your opponents. Okay, so again, let's look at the same thing here. Keeping a murderer in, uh, a murderer in prison for life will cost many millions of dollars. Sentencing murder to death saves the state money which can then be used to help society. Now, the death penalty does not save money. It doesn't. The state has to spend more money on appeals as most prisoners and uh, most prisoner sentences to death spend many years on death row that means before they can actually be, be hanged um they actually going to spend many more years in the death row okay so again this is something uh you know it actually causes more harm than good so it's not a good argument uh, another one, not their role. Now, different people in society have different roles or obligations, just like jobs. These expectations help societies function. Imagine if parents or politicians or firemen or teachers uh, didn't do the things we, ex we expect them. Society would immediately fail. However, these roles are not fixed and keeps changing. It is the role of students to, is it the role of students to just study? How much freedom do parents have to do for things uh, to or for their children? So, for example, the argument is this. Schools should require students to wear uniforms because they are there to learn, not play, or express themselves. But then, schools also develop creativity, discipline, morale, uh, and personality of students. That's why they play games, take art classes, and so on. So, the role of the school is not just academic teaching, but overall development. Okay? Again, this is something that um, you can also bring up if you want to rebut, like, Look, it's not the role of the schools to to do X, Y, and Z. Uh, rather, you know, is the is all of us have to play a role together. Okay. Next one, not practical. The argument is not practical. There's no money, no willpower, no person to do, no time. Uh, to solve the problem of unemployment in Korea, each company should be forced to hire more people. Okay, so you're forced to hire more people. Now, this is impossible. Companies will not cooperate. Even if the government can force all companies to do this, companies will lose money and will go bankrupt, leading to the same or even worse effect of unemployment. Okay, again, sometimes certain arguments are put forth and they are not practical. Again, you can break down these arguments by saying that, look, it is not practical. It can't be done. Contradiction, a perchangahan. Often, different, uh, different parts of an argument might contradict each other. Pointing out contradiction is an incredibly effective rebuttal. So, you see the, the person says X, but then it tells about A. It's a contradiction. It's like the worst logical mistake possible. It makes your opponent look incapable and disorganized, even if they, have contra uh, if they have contradictory points. And effectively allows you to remove two of their contentions at once, if not more. That means you can take out their argument. And at the same time, you can also take out their examples so you're taking out both okay and also their reasoning and all that so that becomes very strong uh, we should use that penalty to discourage serial killers serial killers are psychopaths who do not care about living or dying okay so here if serial killers, if serial killers uh, do not care about dying what will they why would they be discouraged about the death penalty in order for someone to be deterred they need to be rational if you argue serial killers are not rational then they will not be deterred. Deterred means dihalang. Okay? Alright? So, basically saying, look, you are saying that we do death penalty on serial killers. But what's the point? Because these serial killers, they are not afraid of death. They are just not rational in their head. So, again, that could be a contradiction and if you use it well, you can expose 
the argument of your of your of the opposing speaker and definitely you can uh, break down that argument really well and uh, it'll be very good for you okay if you are if you're on the, on the opposing end so here are some references that uh, where i took this from uh, so i would suggest you go and check them out here i think it's better uh, so that's the end of our eight part uh, lesson uh, so the whole this online course the is it's, it's a very it's an introduction course for if you're very new to debate it's not let's go to the front slide okay it's an introduction course if you want to know about debate if you are already a debater then uh this whole course is just it's just like a refresher for you 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 might not even be that helpful but if you're very new to debate you're not sure what debate is definitely this is the right course for you to take because uh, or you have uh, been through it uh, the, the, the whole eight lessons because it gives you a, a fairly good amount of introduction on what debate is and really lays out the ground on how you can debate as well and all the little little mechanics that uh, you need to be a debater uh, so i think that is important okay so again um, share this online course with your friends it's free it's online it's on youtube um, and if there's any questions you can um, always put it in the comment sections uh, and i also want to say that i'm very sure throughout these eight lessons i have made some mistakes i have made some said something wrong uh, i might have given out some wrong information there might be typos here and there it's not perfect okay but there will be different revisions of this online course and i am hopefully in the future it becomes better over time and we'll have more advanced lessons or, or more advanced courses uh for for anyone watching for any students out there but this is the beginning so it's not perfect it's not ideal there might be mistakes here and there so please forgive me um and yeah i hope you have the opportunity i hope uh, you enjoy it and if again any questions drop on the chat on uh, the comments sorry and then just uh send me an email if you need uh, anything more uh, and please subscribe please support i will really appreciate that and please share this with all of your friends so that they all have an idea what debate is about and how do you debate and how do you sound intellectual uh, rational and how do you do stuff like this okay so thank you very much guys and um, yeah and good luck if you have any questions uh, if you need some coaching or anything uh, i should i might be available so just send me an email and then we can work it from there okay thank you all very much